When it comes to Facebook ads, your placements actually play a very critical role to the success of your adverts. And if you're going to get results, the kind of results that you intend to get from your advertising, then you should pay attention to where you place your ads or where they should feature so that they can be able to give you the required return on your ad spend and the results that you actually intend to get from your advertising. Now, on the Facebook interface, on the Facebook ads manager interface, there are basically two placement options, which is the advantage plus placements, which is actually called automatic placements before now and then we also have the manual placements now as at the time of recording this video there is information flying around that the manual placement is about to be phased out of the facebook ads manager all right so um at this time of recording this video if you're able to still see manual placement it means that your ad manager can still you know run ads you are utilizing the manual placement option but if you're not seeing that right that means you can only use the automatic or the advantage plus placement okay so depending on your ad account and the time you're watching this video possibly by the time you're watching this video they may have phased this out or maybe you can still have the opportunity to still have it display on your ads manager now on this video we're going to discuss these two placement options and why you should use either of them and when you should use either of them all right now let's talk about the manual placement okay now manual placement simply means that you are the one in charge and the one dictating to facebook where you want your ads to show okay they are the one telling facebook exactly where you want your adverts to be displayed so that they can only display your adverts according to the things that you have selected and you have chosen as your placement options all right so this means that you're the one in control but if you use the advantage plus placement you're actually giving facebook the entire prerogative the entire you know leverage to do what they feel is right and best for your advice and they can place it anywhere they deem you know reasonable and suitable to display your advert so they can give you the kind of results you also want to get okay now for ad for manual placements right now you could see right here you have the options to select if you want your ads to run on facebook on instagram on the audience network on messenger and all that okay they are all ticked here by default so depending on what you want to actually accomplish right most of the times we we remove the messenger and the audience network so just tap on it and then it will now untick it and if you tap on audience network it will also untick both of them all right so it depends on what you want to achieve okay so right now we are able to now remove the audience network and the messenger okay now if you want your advert to run on both facebook and instagram you can have them you know selected all right like we have seen right now and they are both selected and then if you want to run only on the facebook feed you can just you know untick instagram right and then leave it only on the facebook you know feed on the facebook interface so that only facebook would have your adverts run on it and so you will not run an ad on instagram however if you want to also you know run on both instagram and on facebook then that means you also have to now select instagram so that you are able to run your ads across both platforms especially when you have connected your instagram account to your facebook page okay so you have to first connect your instagram account to your facebook page to be able to, be able to now utilize this option of you know having both of them selected for you to actually run your adverts on both platforms now here is how to now continue running your adverts okay so when you now select facebook you now come down right here to the placement okay so right now you could see that um you have feeds stories and reels in stream ads for video Videos and all of that now depending on your choice really when you click on any one of them let's click on feeds for example it brings a drop down for you to select you know options on that feed okay now on that feed you have here the facebook feed which is the most ideal and recommended place for your adverts to run because the feed is just where once people once people open their facebook app the place that they land on is their facebook feed right so there are more eyeballs on the facebook feed most likely than any other you know um option available right here okay so um first you must always want to put your advert to display on the facebook feed now you can now you know remove or untick other ones right at the facebook marketplace right now you can just tap on it to so untick it okay because you may not need your advert to run on the facebook marketplace okay now you can leave your adverts to run on the facebook video feed all right if that is actually your yeah, the fact that you're using a video okay if you're using a video you can leave your adverts to run a 
Facebook video feeds, okay? The Facebook rights column, we don't actually need that one, okay? We don't need the Facebook rights column. So we can now tap on it so that it can be, you know, unticked, okay? So right now we have just the Facebook feed selected and the Facebook video feed selected, okay? So it means that when people are watching their videos, if you are using a video as your ad creative, okay? This now, you know, makes it very suitable for you to run using the Facebook video feeds. Now that's that for the feeds option. Now we'll now come up right now and click on the stories and reels, okay? Now, you can choose to actually select stories and reels if you feel that that's going to give you quite some visibility like we said and manual placement you have the option you have the control okay you're the one that will choose where you want your advert to run so you can let's say um you can leave stories and reels i mean facebook stories and facebook reels that they're already selected right if, you, if you're using a video i mean and you feel that this video is well customized for the facebook reels and or facebook stories you can actually use that if you choose or if i just tap on them to remove them or right, to untick them from me you know this particular stories and reels you know, option right so you can just tap on it you can tap on the facebook reels as well and the tick will be removed all right so that's how you can now set it so that's that for stories and reels you can come to the in stream as video tap on it and it brings out a drop down of options so you can just remove all of these can untick ads on facebook reels and untick the other ones as well okay so like i said it's actually entirely up to you what you do with your adverts when it comes to manual placement it's entirely up to you okay and up to you however you want your adverts to be shown so you can tap on each of them and remove the ones you don't want okay just as you tap on them it brings out options for you to you know select them or to remove them from your options okay so that's basically that all right so with this you are not able to know where your adverts will show so you're the one in control so you know that your adverts will show only on facebook feed and you know facebook video feeds and possibly um if you wanted to show any other place you just select the place you wanted to show but for these two we have selected that means facebook feed and facebook video feed uh where our adverts will show now a very simple place where people often overlook when they're on manual placement is this part where you have devices okay where you have all devices now this means that you are telling facebook to show your advert to everybody whether using a desktop or using their mobile devices so, and this is not actually very ideal because majority of your target audience will be viewing the facebook platform from their mobile devices so what we actually advise is to click on these devices so that you can be able to edit them okay so once you tap on it you go home right here and then click on the edit option right here now it brings out this option it says all devices recommended now uh, we do not recommend all devices okay because majority like we said of your users of your ad of your audience will be on their mobile phone so now once you tap on this right now it brings down this drop down menu of mobile and desktop and you can see they are both selected what you want to do is to untick the desktop version okay just so that it's only allows mobile to be displayed okay so it means that now we have selected only mobile so it means that your your adverts will now show only to people on who are using their mobile devices can you see that right now okay so that's that's one thing that most people do not pay attention to so it is something that you should really be at the back of your mind that you know your devices should be set to mobile because almost 90 percent if not 95 percent or 97 percent of your audience are viewing facebook on the facebook app which is their mobile device so like we said we want to ensure that we are putting our adverts at the places where people are most likely to see them to view them all right and then they are able to take action based on what they are seeing on our adverts now so you can see that's basically for this manual placement uh, okay because we because we chose mobile now everything has returned back to reset and now you can actually you know um, tick the ones you want and the ones you don't want okay you can actually do that like we have earlier explained now that's for manual placement now, now when it comes to advantage plus placement now we use manual placements first of all when we are setting the ad are fresh okay when we're just setting up the adverts for the first time and then we're trying to you know, control the places where our adverts want to be shown so you are here on the manual placement you can now choose facebook or instagram or whatever you want your adverts to show because you are the one in charge and you want to give facebook the instruction on where to show your adverts okay so when you're setting up the adverts from scratch you are advised to use manual placement so that you can control where your adverts will be shown however we use advantage plus placement which is the one on top right now we use it when we have run adverts with 
the manual placement and we've gotten a, a lot of data and we want to now run a of a targeting advert now if you are just sharing with targeting advert for the first time it simply means that we want to target those people who have earlier seen our advert before okay so in other people who have watched the video or people who have actually clicked on our advert and then landed on our sales page on our landing page and then because we have the data of these people using our tracking system usually a pixel if you're using a sales page or people who have watched your video let's say people have watched up to like 30 percent of your video or 60 percent of your video or you know, depending on whatever metric you use but, but you are trying to target people who have at one point or the other engaged with your advert now we then use advantage plus because because that means that these advantage plus placements will now follow these people wherever they are okay whatever they are watching whatever they are viewing facebook from whether it's from their devices whether from facebook whether from the facebook marketplace or the stories or reels wherever they are okay it's as though the advert is following them because now they have seen your ad the first time so right now we want to track them wherever they may be to take action on the adverts that we are displaying to them so you see we use advantage plus placements for retargeting because it makes greater sense that way when you're able to now follow up people who have shown some form of interest in your advert previously okay so that's the these are the two instances where we use both manual placement and advantage plus placement okay and then to set this up is very simple once you tap on it facebook now knows that they are giving you are giving them the right to now show your advert to the places they know that your target audience will be wherever they are online so when they open facebook feed they will see your adverts when they open their stories they'll see your advert when they open their reels they'll see your adverts even when they open an app okay the, the, the native app feature of a facebook ads will you know, when make them see your advert so this is very ideal and proper when you are running a retargeting ad campaign okay because with that you're able to now you know structure your advert so that your your audience will see your advert wherever they may be on facebook you know interface okay so it's important for you to get take note of that so this is manual placement and then this is advantage plus placement so it's all left to you to now utilize the one you want that will give you the greater visibility reach and also the greater results that you want to get okay now like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos and also if you look at the screen right now you'll see a video i have done on the perfect timing for your facebook ads okay how to set the perfect time for your facebook ads now click on that video and I'll see you